Sidney Monroe. He hooks it over to Brian Howard. Smith had good position, but that was a long rebound. State able to recover. Monroe pulls State within a point. But check it, Brian Howard with the bucket. 70-69. Duke is on top by one point. 2.50 left to play in the game. Rejection. NC State won it. Here's Del Negro. Well, what a play. Beautiful move around. Lays it in and NC State takes the lead. Duke has a very interesting lineup in the game, Bob. Billy King playing the point guard. Still the triangle in two. Monroe against Strickland. Howard against Ferry. Strickland puts it in. Now that shouldn't happen against the triangle in two. The one thing that Strickland should not be able to do is penetrate. But Del Negro with four fouls couldn't really come and give the proper kind of help. 72-71. Duke leading by a point. That's the time remaining. Billy King with four personal fouls as well, so he's got to be very careful out there. Here's Monroe. Slips. What, what a break. What a break that he's able to get rid of the ball. Del Negro bottoms. Well, you wondered when Vinny Del Negro was going to get hot, and it's right now, and it can't be any better for that guy right there. 73-72. NC State. Duke takes the timeout. A minute 42 left to... Illegal drugs threaten our friends, our children. A minute 42 left. Jimmy Valvano plotting his strategy here with the Wolfpack leading 73-72. Dan Bonner, Chris Corgiani conspicuous by his absence here. It's a, basketball's a game of matchups, Bob, and the reason Corciani's out of the game right now, despite the real fine game that he's had, is that Jim Valvano is playing, first of all, that trick defense, the triangle and two, and if Corciani's in the ball game, he's either a very small man out on the port of, point of the triangle, or he's got to match up against Strickland, who would have a sizable height advantage. And so Corciani, he's had the real good game, but Rodney Monroe has had a real good offensive game. He's a little bigger than Corciani. He can match up better against Strickland. And down at the end of a tight ball game, you know Jim Valvano wants to have Vinny Del Negro in there, so he's just no place to put Corciani at the moment. Bullet pass. Smith couldn't handle it. And the Wolfpack takes over, leading by one and a minute 30 left. And Jim Valvano had his Wolfpack team switch out of that triangle in two. They were playing straight zone. Duke did not seem to be overly surprised by it. But John Smith wasn't able to handle the ball. And Chris Corciani, with the change in strategy, with only a minute 25 left in the game, is back in there to handle the ball. Vinny Del Negro heating up here in the second half. The Wolfpack trying to burn some clock. The shot clock at 27 with the game clock at a minute 13. This is obviously a very big possession for North Carolina State. The shot clock at 15. Del Negro on a beautiful feed. And I can't describe how difficult a play like that is to execute. Jim Valvano calls timeout to set his defense. Danny Ferry was coming. Vinny Del Negro had to be aware that Danny Ferry was coming for the help. Del Negro able to catch the ball in the air and just toss it in. This is an extremely difficult play. Corciani with another fine assist. Del Negro catching it and shooting it all in one motion. That's just an outstanding play. And the, the synchronization of the freshman and the senior here. Great back door cut. Really caught Kubek flat-footed. Del Negro has scored North Carolina State's last six points. All ten of Vinny's points have come in this half. All right, Coach Bonner. Let's take a look at it now from the Duke perspective. What kind of defense North Carolina State is going to play? They were, they've been in that triangle and two the entire second half. They played some zone. I think what you'll see Mike Shusevsky try to do is to get the ball inside to Danny Ferry. Whatever defense State is playing, I believe that will be the first option. It really hurts Duke that Quinn Snyder has fouled out of the game. Snyder, a pretty good ball handler, sixth in the ACC in assist, very good outside shooter, so you'd like to have him in the game. Without him, though, I think that you'll see possibly Billy King handling the ball outside since he's not that big an offensive threat, and I think the first option will be Danny Ferry. The shooting this half, the Duke Blue Devils, that lead has evaporated because of 33% shooting. 7 of 21. Very interesting. One of the Duke people told us uh, a couple of weeks ago we were doing a game talking about that North Carolina Duke game. 
saying that Duke was very pleased that they were ahead by a point and defending against North Carolina's last shot effort rather than have being behind by one and trying to score because it just at that point Duke wasn't scoring very well. Well, we're back to the triangle in two. Right, Kubek. Rebound to Danny Ferry, and Duke gets another crack at it with 40 seconds left. Kubek, that was blocked. Rebound, Duke. Smith puts it in. It's a one-point state lead. Duke electing not to call the timeout. They have two at their disposal, state three. If Shackelford touches the ball, expect to see Duke try to foul him. And Smith didn't do a good enough job. Well, that you got to foul Shackelford. The clock is And you up. saw Billy King. He's yelling at John Smith. When Shaq touches the ball, you got to get him. Ten seconds. They've got to foul somebody now. They can't wait. And Billy King is really, really mad out there because Charles Shackelford caught the ball twice, and John Smith didn't foul him either time. And what happens is Duke ran out of options. They had to foul Vinny Del Negro. And that's the one guy for North Carolina State you just don't want to foul. Billy King, worse for Duke. That's his fifth foul. He's out of the game. The third Duke player to foul out. Now let's, let's just take a look at this whole sequence right here. Now it's right at the end of the sequence. You can see the time. There isn't any time left. You can't worry about who you're going to foul. you got to get somebody. King jumping to a stop right there. He's really upset. You know that they wanted to foul Shackleford. Benny Del Negro. Is two for two at the line in this game. Oh, this! Yes. And Duke's got it. Five. Oh, Chucky Brown steals the ball. NC State now with two seconds left and an intentional foul on Strickland. Oh, Duke had the opportunity they never thought they'd get with a foul line missed by Del Negro. But yeah. the pass was intercepted. Danny Ferry is going to try to make a very difficult pass right here. He's got the ball. He's underneath the backboard. He's going to try to throw that pass. I didn't know whether, I couldn't tell whether Shackelford got his hand on the ball or not. But he threw it right to Chucky Brown. It's very hard to get the loft on that ball that you need to throw a full court pass when you're standing right underneath the basket. Well, the back board became a sixth defender for NC State. That's a very difficult pass. Um, probably a, a very serious mistake by Danny Ferry to try to make it. And now, not really very much Duke can do, even if Del Negro misses both of these shots on the intentional foul. State is going to get the ball out of bounds, and this looks like a huge victory for Jim Valvano and his North Carolina State Wolfpack. If State wins this game and they lead by two, a three-way tie at the top in the ACC. Duke, State, and Carolina all five and two. Del Negro hits them both. Two seconds left. Now State with the ball. Out of bounds at the spot of the foul. And right now, Jim Valvano is going to take a timeout. Two seconds remain. 77-74. There is still life, of course, for Duke. A couple of factors. The score was 61 to 48. We were talking about how well Duke was playing in their half-court offense. And North Carolina State just sort of, you could just see them collectively hitch up their trousers and go to work. They went to work defensively. They sort of forced Duke out of the real effective half-court offense. Duke turned the ball over a couple of times, and North Carolina State started to go down and cash in. I think you can't say enough about the spark that Rodney Monroe provided, Vinny Del Negro scoring all his points in the second half. The North Carolina State, I think the key for them is they hung close enough when they were playing poorly that then when Duke lost the shooting touch, and we've said if Duke can't score, they're not the team that they have appeared to be in the last week or so when they've been shooting very well, and State just forced the Blue Devils out of their offense is just a very impressive job by the Wolfpack. Indeed. They throw it into Del Negro, and the ball game is over. NC State wins at Duke. Jimmy Valvano congratulating Mike Krzyzewski as he wins again at Cameron Indoor Stadium. The final score, NC State 77, and the Duke Blue Devils 74. Benny Del Negro hitting key baskets and the two final free throws to nail.